And we're here with Jason Michael Carroll, one of my favorites right now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Because it's because I'm sitting here, right? No, really. <laughs> this is my second concert of yours oh wow well wow. yeah. thank you you're welcome i saw you out there you looked like you were having a good time i was oh, nice what'd you think of my fall you know what <laughs> it wasn't good <laughs> gotta be honest you know what no, if, i'm just kidding if you're afraid to make a fool of yourself you should not be up on that stage because because trust me i will do it in a heartbeat and, and the best thing is to just try and recover i mean you just I was going to jump right up and act like it didn't happen, but I was like, shoot, there's almost 8,000 people here that saw it, so I'm just going to lay here. And I thought that was pretty yeah. cool, the way you just <laughs> laid there. That was, that was. So, um, but you are very good. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you haven't seen him in concert, you need to. You should. You should. Yes. I'm going to go with her. So what's it like performing in North Carolina? You're from North Carolina, so. You know, it's amazing. First of all, uh, it's amazing for several reasons. The people here in North Carolina, I can connect to them. They're they're my hometown. They're, this is my crowd. You know, this we all grew up together. We know a lot of the same people. It's it's amazing to be able to have that connection with the audience. Something I don't get a lot of places. You know, uh, we connect with an audience everywhere we go. But to to be able to connect and and these folks, I know know exactly what I'm talking about. To be able to do that is awesome. And then not to mention the fact that I woke up in my own bed this morning at a decent hour, took a shower, kind of strolled through the house a little bit, and. Uh, drove an hour and 15 minutes to get here so this wasn't bad at all mm -hmm. so is that the best <laughs> part of playing in north carolina not uh, like i said it's not the best part the, the fans here are what make it all but but to be able to, to to sleep in my own bed that's a that's a rarity so i mean it's pretty cool great now you've got a new album coming out mm -hmm. do you want to tell us about it no oh darn no, no. <laughs> we, i was sorry, hoping to get sorry. some information <laughs> yeah we uh, we actually par partnered with cracker barrel old country stores um, I actually used to work at Cracker Barrel in Henderson, North Carolina at store 343 um, as a waiter. And uh, I remember every time I'd go to work or, or, you know, after Cracker Barrel started the music program, I'd go in and see Craig Morgan CDs, Montgomery Gentry CDs, uh, Rodney Atkins, all around. And so when I was at Sony for the five years I was there, I literally would beg them to let me put an album out of Cracker Barrel. And basically what they did then was a new, you know, a, a record that was already out and had two songs to it. And um, they never let me do it. They say we didn't. We don't have time for that. You know, you got a lot going on. And after we left Sony uh, a year ago, February, first thing I got my management on was to put us in Cracker Barrel. And here we are, July 25th. The new album Numbers comes out. And that is your current single, right? It is. It is. You know, it's. It, I figured as much as number, as many times as numbers affect our everyday life, uh, from the time we have to get up in the morning to the time that we have in the house before we have to get ready to leave for work, the commute. Um, it's pretty awesome to be able to, to write a song or to have a song on this record that, that really captures all of that. Mm -hmm. So we're excited for this record. When's it come out? Do you know? July 25th at Cracker Barrel Old Country Stores. And we are the first artist at Cracker Barrel is allowed to uh, put their music up digitally. So the song Numbers is on iTunes right now. And I believe after the song Numbers comes out of Cracker the album Numbers comes out of Cracker Barrel, you'll be able to go to Cracker Barrel Old Country Stores and buy it, pick up a biscuit and my CD. And a few weeks after that, I think, a short short period after that, you'll be able to go to uh, iTunes and download it as well. So you all need to check that out when it comes out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got a charity, Brittany's Battle, mm -hmm. correct? Um, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Brittany Coppage was a close friend of mine. Um, her dad was one of my first guitar players in my first band. And um, Brittany's one of those people that could really tell me anything I wanted to hear, no matter, no matter how bad I didn't want to hear it. And I'd have to take it from her. You know, she she had that kind of power over me. And um, I remember getting a call from her when we were out promoting Alyssa Lies. We were so busy, out touring for five days at a time, coming home for two, trying to spend as much time with my kids as I could. Um, we were out Christmas shopping. And I remember getting a call from Tammy, Brittany's mom. Uh, I was at Triangle Town Center in Raleigh. And uh, her mom said, Jason, Brittany's got cancer at 19 years old and I remember I broke down in the middle of the mall and thank God my wife was with me or else I wouldn't have found my truck that night I mean I I was I literally was in tears walking through the mall and we drove straight to Chapel Hill to UNC Chapel Hill and I remember seeing Brittany in the hospital bed and she was in good spirits telling jokes laughing she'd drawn faces on everybody's hospital masks in the hospital and um so we went back out on the road and all the, my month of December, it was solid. I mean, five five days out on the road, two days back home, and every time I'd leave straight from the airport, go see Brittany, and uh, we lost Brittany uh, 
December 28, 2006. And um, every time we play Living Our Love Song, which was one of her favorite songs at the time, she was with me the first time I heard it from the studio after we recorded it. Um, I dedicated it to Brittany and I announced to the crowd that they can check out Brittany'sBattle.org to help families in need. You know, if moms and dads that want to be there, moms and dads that want to be there by their kids that are getting treatment. Uh, Brittany's Battle not only helps with the research and helps with the treatment procedures, but also helps with the families that their bills are piling up at home. So, yeah, you can find out more about Brittany's Battle at Brittany'sBattle.org. You should definitely do that. And when his album comes out, you should definitely check that out. And you've got two other albums, which are amazing. <laughs> thank you. So you can check those out as well when you go get this one. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, check Walmart, Best Buy, iTunes. They're out there everywhere. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Yeah, very nice talking to you too. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Thanks for talking.